Yo, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. We're talking user experience today. All right, user experience. Although this may not be new, all right, this may not be new, but it, it drives my drives my point home in terms of the importance of making sure the products in which you are coming up with whether you're you're a business owner that you're listening to me right now or the services or the products are more so about the user experience in other words the customer experience what they're gonna get when they get your product <clears throat> when they pay for your service how much easier and more efficient are you going to make their life not yours how much easier and efficient are you going to make their life let me explain all right as you can see today's a wednesday wednesday morning i usually do my my runs with a group with the uh, palm beach road runners out here in palm beach out here in west palm beach florida and jupiter high school we call ourselves the trash talking trackies <laughs> come out here 5 30 a.m every wednesday morning and there's a workout that's organized by shout out to shout out to mary if you're listening she organized everything and today we had a an unbelievable actually unbelievable turnout i actually might be able to see them everyone's kind of packing up now but it was an unbelievable turnout all right and usually she posts the uh she posts the workouts in the facebook group before we actually come here and i today you most of the time i kind of understand it because i've you know i've been in sports i know kind of the the track terminology and things like that whether it's 400 200 300 whatever i kind of get the gist of it so there are times where i come out here early start early and because i know what i'm doing but today's workout she put some she put some something new you know she had it to where we're going to be running for a certain amount of time and then lower our vo2 max and she got a little too scientific on me so i really needed her to 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 break down what the workout was all about, explain everything and all that kind of stuff, right? And then she she broke it down and the workout, the workout was went like this. It was, we're gonna run as fast as we can for four minutes or at a, like a 5K, 10K pace for four minutes and then slow it down for three minutes. So run for four minutes, basically speed for four minutes, slow it down for three minutes because that's what this workout's all about. It's about working your pace, understanding the, the speed workouts are important when you're a distance runner and things like that. You know, at least having that day where you're getting used to a pace and speeding up, slowing down, all that kind of stuff, right? So I had to actually use my timer. I don't normally use my timer um, when I'm doing my runs, all right? If I use my timer, it's usually when I'm taking a nap or if I'm timing something with the kids at school, but I don't usually use my actual timer on my iPhone, right? So as I'm running, as I'm running, I put it for four minutes and I'm thinking it's gonna be really inconvenient to have to go for four minutes and then stop and, all right, I gotta go to three minutes. I thought it was gonna be really inconvenient until I realized, holy shit, you know, the iPhone has it built in where it's recent. They have this kind of this recent tab where, you know, if it was a recent, <laughs> whatever timer you set before, it's gonna have it there recently. So you can just simply go back, press it again, go back, press it again. So by the time we got to our third round or by pretty much the second round, I realized, wait a minute, I could, I don't have to keep going back and forth and setting it to four and then setting it back to three. I could just hit the four, hit the three, hit the four, hit the three, hit the four, hit the three, hit the four, hit the three. And then that's when, you know, again, I, I had a completely different subject, completely different thing I want to actually talk to you guys today about. but again these move swiftly thoughts are organic they're impromptu speaking and it's about how certain things actually hit me right at this specific moment it's because i want to give you guys the raw uncut footage and understand as you're going out in your day-to-day -day business just like you if you may have something in your head but then you realize wait is this thing going to help the user is this thing going to help the customer better go with the thing that's going to help the user and the customer because that's how you get testimonials like this again this iphone that you're probably listening to this on or this or this ipad or this laptop whatever it is the reason apple continues to sell and continues to win is because they have pretty much three or four no like yeah, three or four main products and if you include the headphones they have basically four main products and they keep continuously and continuously focusing on the user experience and that is where it is you need to be placing all your positive energy all your thoughts is how is the user how's the user going to be benefiting from my product how is the user going to be benefiting from my service all right main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work make yamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e 
Crookshankit.com, one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshankit, one and only Move Swiftly speaker, check it out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.